Thank you for joining this lesson. We're going to discuss linear motion. Number 22. The distance between towns A and B is 460 kilometers. A minibus left town A at 8.45 a.m. and traveled towards B at an average speed of 65 kilometers per hour. A matato left B at 10.55 a.m on the same day and traveled towards A at an average speed of 80 kilometers per hour. Part A, how far from B, how far from town B did they meet? Remember to subscribe to this channel and to share the link with your friends. All right, because they are moving along the same road on the same day, but at different times, these two vehicles will eventually meet. So I want us to proceed and see the time they are going to meet. Remember the total distance between the two places, B and A is 460 kilometers. So what we work with here is, you know, there is already time which the minibus has been traveling before the Matato began its journey. So the minibus started traveling at 8.45 and the Matatu at 10.55. This is two hours and 10 minutes later. So two hours, 10 minutes can even be converted to hours. So two and 10 over 60 hours. This can be two hours and one over six. For all this time, the minibus has been traveling. So what distance has it already covered towards B? So we can get that distance of the minibus, distance of the minibus before the Matato began its journey. So 216 multiplied by a speed of 65 will give us distance. And this is going to be 140, five over six kilometers, sorry, not hours. Uh, these are kilometers because it's distance. That is the distance which uh, the minibus has already covered. That means there is now a remaining distance. Hmm. Remember, we have a 140 and 5 over 6 kilometers already narrowed down. This is at 10.55. The time they are starting to travel together. Now, at 10.55, when the minibus has already covered 140 and 5 over 6 kilometers. It is the time when the, the Matato now starts its journey. That means we can get the distance now between the two, and that will be when we take 460 the total distance and we subtract 140. 460 minus 140 and 5 over 6. This will give us a distance of 319 and 1 over 6. Kilometers. So the distance now between them at 10.55 a.m. is 319 kilometers and 1 over 6. So that is the total distance between the two vehicles is at 10.55 a.m. Now, it's good to know that this is the distance now they are comparatively going to cover. They jointly covering now 319 and a sixth kilometers. That means we should get, okay, we can term that as the relative distance because it's the distance between them at the time they want to, to be moving at the same time. That is the relative distance. So we can now talk about relative speed. Each vehicle is having a speed. The Matatu is having 80. The minibus is at 65 kilometers per hour, but they are moving, approaching one another. So relative speed should be the sum of the individual speeds. When we take 65 and we add 80, this gives us 145 kilometers per hour. Now, this will be the speed at which the 319 and the 6 kilometers will be covered at. So we can get the relative time, the time that will be taken to cover the relative distance. So 319 and the 6 out of 145. And this will give exactly two hours and that is five over seven four 
two hours and that five over one seven four. These are the hours it can take. Now that we are going to take these hours and each vehicle has been moving and now we want the distance from B to where they are meeting, then we can talk of the distance now from B. We can consider the vehicle which is moving from B. It's at a speed of 80 and it will move for two hours and 35 over 174 hours before they meet. So to get the distance it will cover, we multiply the time it will take to meet because we are using now the matter to each speed and the time they will travel. And this will give us 176 and 8 over 87. 176 and 8 over 87 kilometers. So that is the distance from B to where they will be meeting. We can go to the part B, which talks of at what time did the two vehicles meet? Now they are meeting after two hours, 35 or 75 hours. We can convert the 35 of 175 hours by multiplying it by 60 into minutes, and that will become the time they will take in two hours and 12 minutes. And remember, they started moving together at 10.55. So when we add two hours and 12 minutes, we're going to get a 67 minutes. And remember, an hour is 60 minutes, so we're going to have seven minutes remaining here and we carry the whole hour and this will become 13 zero seven hours the same day this can also be expressed as one zero seven pm the same day so that is the time the two vehicles will meet <clears throat> part c a motorist started from his home at 9.15 a.m. on the same day and traveled at or to be at an average speed of 120 kilometers per hour. He arrived at the same time as the minibus. Calculate the distance from B to his home. So this motorist is traveling at 120. This is a very high speed compared to the available speeds for the other two vehicles. At this speed, from 9.15 up to the time, the minibus will also arrive at B. That is the time the motorist will also arrive. So we can get the time of arrival for the minibus. Time of arrival for minibus. For minibus. The time of arrival will be a distance of 4.60 at a speed of 65 and this will give us a 7 hours and 1 over 13, 7 and 1 over 13 hours. So this is the time the minibus will take to arrive. This is to mean now we can get the arrival time. The arrival time for the minibus, time of arrival, or time taken to arrive. So time of arrival is going to be, uh, time of arrival is going to be, okay, we can also check, because uh, the motorist is beginning at 9.15 a.m., yeah, this is the time I wanted. And now the minibus started at 8.45. Now there is some time, when the minibus was traveling and the motorist was not. Therefore, the time of travel of the motorist, the time of travel of the motorist will be 7 and 1 over 13 hours minus a half an hour. Half an hour is from 8.45 to 9.45. For those 30 minutes, which is half an hour, the minibus was already traveling. Then from 9.15, the motorist is already traveling. It's beginning its journey. And now they arrive at the same time, which means the motorist is going to travel for a total of some given hours. We have the total hours for the minibus, and we have the time 
that the minibus was already traveling but the motorist had not started its journey therefore the time that the motorist will be traveling can be calculated and this will be 6 and 15 over 26 hours so this is the time the motorist will be purely traveling we have just taken the total time for minibus since they will arrive at the same time and we have subtracted the norm the the the, the, the dormant time for the motorist when the minibus was traveling but the motorist was not so now we can get the distance from b to motorist home to the home of the motorist at a speed of 120 for six hours and 15 over 26 then this hour so be 789 And three over 13 kilometers so this would be the total distance actually the actual distance from the motorist home to town b thank you so much for following subscribe and share